what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the 19 June 2019 build of the Pixel Experience CAF based ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and I'll tell you my experience about flashing it and stuff like that so let's begin first of all let me show you the settings panel over here the ROM is super fast no issues whatsoever like no huge issues I could find and as you can see over here the Android version is of course Android Pie let me just go back the security patch is latest June 5th 2019 and here is the build number you can see it is the 19 June 2019 build and the stock kernel here is the perf plus kernel and you can tap on the build number seven times to enable the developer options and once you do that you can go to the system and advanced and from there you can enable the advanced reboot over here as you can see right now if I just tap on this like power button and go to restart now it will show over here if i want to go to the recovery or fast boot or even like if i want to do a normal reboot it will show up over here and we have the customizations of pixel experience of course and you can go to the system updates to check for a new update but talking about updates let me show you about the ota i was on the previous build of this rom not the like 19 june the previous build from that i tried to flash or like dirty flash the latest build which is the 19 june one and once i have done that it first flashed successfully with twrp recovery of course with peter's twrp the encrypted one i tried to flash it with that and the flashing was fine everything went fine i cleared dalvik and cache then i normally rebooted which i do with like all the roms but over here the case was that like i could not get into the system the system was stuck into the boot animation i mean the whole screen was stuck into the boot animation and it was just loading i waited for about 15 minutes but it was still loading then i thought it was a problem so i had to clean flash this rom like i had to like wipe cache dalvik system data then i had to clean flash this 19 june build and yes i was on the cf build of course but it did not work the ot update or the dirty flashing i think did not work so i had to clean flash it i'm just informing you guys about that and over here talking about the customizations you can go to the buttons we have the long press for torch option so that you can press and hold the power button when you are in the lock screen it will just like toggle the torch and over here we have the volume key customization of course and invert layout is there so that the back button is to the right side over here and you can go to the status bar and system icons are there but still there is no wall icon over here only you get 4g instead of lte and headset bluetooth etc icons you can enable it let me just go back you can go to the gestures and from here you can enable this swipe to take screenshot this does not scroll as you just saw so that is really good and the rom is like really really smooth as you can see over here no issues whatsoever and let me just go back and from here if you go into the security if you go into the lock screen preferences we have the automatic face unlock option and you can set up face unlock from the smart lock of course you do not need to flash any g apps as the pixel experience comes with like inbuilt g apps and if you go to the display settings we have the night light over here you can just enable the night light to make the display yellowish as you can see and if i just go back we do have the live display too and you can change the color profile to srgb and standard and over here you can enable the reading mode it will turn up the display into like grayscale mode and color calibration is there as you can see rgb control you can do it and the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen you can do it from the like settings too and over here we have the notch behavior it hides the notch of course but the corners are not rounded it's just like normal black border over to the notch if you enable that and we have the ambient display and you can enable it if you want to like wake up the display for new notifications and we have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep too so double tap to sleep on the status bar as you can see works super fine no issues whatsoever and over here we have the device theme you can change it to automatic based on wallpaper automatic time of the day and light and dark with the dark theme the whole like settings panel becomes dark the background becomes dark so you don't need to worry you can change the dark theme style to default to like gray kind of dark or totally black like amulet dark so that is really good and color theme you can change these like accent colors from here as you can see let me just go back and if i go into the sound settings there is no me audio dirac or something like that but we have normal customizations over here for sounds like you can disable the charging sound touch sound screenshot sound etc sounds so if you go into the battery settings we have the battery 
percentage enabling option and talking about the battery life well i haven't used it for that long to test the battery life i would say but yes i did like i was using this rom from like yesterday night and i would say the battery life is pretty good it can definitely give you eight to nine hours of screen on time depending on your usage so you don't need to worry about the battery life either here the battery life is pretty good as well and now let me talk about the stock launcher over here this is the pixel launcher of course the basic pixel launcher so it does not have the swipe down to get to the notification panel over here not even the double tap to sleep let me show you the settings panel as you can see this is just normal pixel launcher and over here even though this is a pixel experience rom there is no google camera present by default over here but you can install google camera let me show you as you can see over here i have installed google camera i'll link it below too in the description if you guys want it and the pictures like picture quality over here with the google camera too is pretty good let me just take a picture quickly with the google camera and show you so as you can see it is working fine the picture quality is really good and also if you want to install the anx camera or the miui ported camera let me tell you that you will you may face some kind of like can't connect to camera or something like that but like older cameras like 111 of the ANX version was not working with this ROM I don't know why but it was working earlier for me so I was like what the hell it should work but then I thought about flashing the newer versions then I flashed the 113 I think the 113 version of this ANX camera and it was still showing that it can't connect to camera then I had to flash the 115 patch on top of the 113 then the camera started working so if you want to flash this ANX camera or something like that you have to install the 113 version right now and on top of that just flash the 115 version so by flashing those two you will get the ANX camera working fine and right now as you can see it is working fine so you don't need to worry at all regarding the ANX camera but the 48 megapixel mode they say it's working it's fixed but i don't know why i i do not see it working let me show you the like about of the 48 megapixel camera as you can see i took the picture with 48 megapixel mode but still it is like look at this 2.8 megapixel i don't know <laughs> what's that but in normal mode it is fine let me show you again so this picture i captured with the normal mode let me go into the info and as you can see it's 12 megapixels so that is really good that normal pictures are fine and normal pictures and portrait pictures and as well the selfies are pretty fine as you can see the front camera is working fine so you don't need to worry at all regarding the like camera or the ANX camera just flash the ANX version 113 then on top of that just flash the 115 patch now over here let's open like some of the apps and show you guys the app on of speeds and stuff like that over here So let's open all the apps from memory again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but the home button was not acting like I was, it was acting like I was touching somewhere else. So as you can see, all the apps are in memory and the app knob speeds and the animation as well is pretty good. And you can switch between apps just like this, as you can see. The ROM is really really fast, you do not need to worry. And talking about the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well, well the sound quality is really great on both, you don't need to worry. But there is no audio dirac or like equalizer present by default over here, you gotta keep that in mind. Now let's talk about something else about the like call quality. The call quality was a little bit like dropping yesterday night but right now I did some calls today morning but it was fine like today. So I can't complain much regarding call quality but the call quality is pretty decent I would say over here and you can't record calls from like the in-call UI over here in this ROM and faulty calls and stuff is working fine Wi-Fi 4G data etc is working fine and regarding the hotspot let me show you that if you go into the hotspot you will see that you have the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz hotspot bands and both works fine and talking about google pay well the banking app should be like working right away out of the box in this rom you do not need to worry and one more thing about the drm info i want to thank kd cloudy's tweet 
and him for like informing me about this that he showed on a tweet that this ROM does support Widevine L1. So I do not have an Amazon Prime or Netflix account, but if you have one, well, you can definitely enjoy like 1080p content on those things. The Amazon Prime and Netflix both supports 1080p streaming on this Pixel Experience ROM. So that is really, really great, I would say. As you can see from here, if you like look closely, the security level shows as L1. So I can't test it because I just don't have an account of Amazon Prime, but yeah. So there you have it. The ROM is really great and you can definitely flash it if you want to. The widgets and stuff, everything is working fine. Nothing much to complain about. This is pure pixel experience. Like this is one of the best experience you can get if you're moving from MIUI to uh, like stock Android ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And by the way, here is the Android score I forgot to mention. And the gaming performance and stuff like that is pretty fine over here. You do not need to worry much about the gaming performance because the performance is really, really good over here. So if you're updating from a previous ROM, I would say just keep that in mind that it, it may like not boot or it may get stuck in the like boot animation if you're updating from a previous ROM. Otherwise, I think you do not need to worry. And here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this ROM. So the fingerprint scanner speed, I would say it's not the fastest, but it is pretty decent. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.